Let's uh, speak to Jennifer Austin. She's Deputy Director of Operations in the Gaza Field Office for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, or UNRWA. She joins us now live uh, via Skype from Gaza. Good to have you with us, uh, Jennifer. Uh, how has this escalation in violence impacted upon UNRWA's operations in Gaza, food distribution, health and sanitation services and so on? Well, thanks, Adrian. And as you're aware, we're now into day four of the ongoing escalation and the humanitarian situation is already dire. Um, from UNRWA's perspective, we've been continuing our food program, our food distribution, um, our sanitation in the camps, um, our health centres, 22 health centres are still operating, um, our water wells. We're trying to keep as much operations going as we can. Um, but it's a really bad situation coming on top of 15 years of blockade, of uh, physical, economic and social blockade and actually the coping mechanisms of the people here, of the refugees, is very dire. The situation is dire here. You, Thank you. You must be pretty concerned about the safety and security of your people working on the ground there. And, and what is the mood of the general population there in Gaza right now? What are people telling you? Um, well, people here are not very hopeful um, and, and the people here are are really at the, as I said, that they're at the end of their coping mechanisms. They have actually, um, this is how they feel, Adrian. What is UNRWA calling on all parties involved to do right now? Uh, and, and what's its message to the international community? Well, UNRWA is calling on all parties to cease, and, and there should be a ceasefire, of course, and we've been waiting for the cease, hearing about a ceasefire for a long time now, for a few days. We're calling on all parties to protect all civilians, um, in particular children and women have been particularly affected by this. Um, it's a really um, humanitarian disaster in the making. Tell us, Thank Jennifer. You. Tell us, Jennifer, more about about what UNRWA is actually doing there on the ground in in uh, in, okay. in Gaza. What's what's it? What does it its work entail? Well, UNRWA is providing humanitarian assistance for the um, um, Palestinian refugees in Gaza. So that's the 1.7 million refugees. And at the moment, um, as I said, we are running. Uh, we, our schools are not operating. So there's 291,000 children are not going to school uh, because it's too dangerous. We don't we've, we don't have safety to be able to send our children to school. So there's the the Gazan children. So um, we're offering schools, um, health care and 22 health centres, uh, relief and social services. Um, we've had a big uptake in the um, uh, first aid hotlines for psychological health. There's a huge mental health gap here and there's a big mental health crisis. So I think that's how the humanitarian situation is going, Adrian. But as far as what UNRWA is doing as well, we're actually um, prepared um, if this situation goes further. We have got um, our emergency plans in place, our protocols in place. We have um, a scale, we can scale up for 150,000 displaced persons if that happens. We've got emergency food and non-food um, ready for those people. If they feel unsafe, we've got people coming into our shelters because they're feeling unsafe at night or maybe their shelter was destroyed. So it's a really um, dangerous situation for the people of Gaza and they don't feel safe, where can they go to be safe? They're coming to the UNRWA schools, coming to our designated emergency shelters, and that's where they're getting safety. Really good to talk to you, Jennifer. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Uh, Jennifer Austin there, live thanks, from Gaza.